Hi, thanks for watching The Backward Glance. This is Lisa, and today is June 25th, 2019. This is going to be another What Sold Quickly on eBay video, where I show you items that sold within the first 30 days of being listed in my eBay store. As usual, I have 10 items to show you, nine of which are apparel items, and I'm excited about this video because there are quite a few brands in here that I think are a little bit lesser known, at least they were new to me, and they're brands that I personally haven't seen mentioned in other videos, so if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, please stick around. Also, as usual, I have some bonus items to show you at the end, so I'll tell you about those when we get to them and why I picked them out to include in this video. But these first 10 items did sell within 30 days of listing, starting with this pair of shorts. The brand on these is called Pelagic, and I believe that this is a brand that is sold at Bass Pro Shop. I originally pulled these out thinking that they could be Lululemon. I didn't recognize the brand, so I decided to run comps, and the sell-through rate was very good on these. So I picked them up for $4.25. I sent out offers to watchers and got $20 for these on the day after I listed them, so that was a great flip. And they did say pelagic right there on the side, and then this is the tag that was inside with like that little swordfish logo. I was on vacation with my mom this past four days, so I did have my shop on vacation, but I went ahead and used offers to watchers every day, and I just included a message with my offers that told the buyers that the item would not be shipping until Wednesday. And actually today's Tuesday and I managed to get my stuff shipped out, but I did give myself a, a day of cushion in there. So I was really pleased with my sales while I was on vacation. And I think that offers to watchers program is um, really the reason why I was able to do so well, even while my shop was on vacation. So the next sale were these Eileen Fisher shorts and I found these new with tags, which I was really pleased about. This was like a really lightweight cotton and wide leg crop, which is a great style for the summer. I paid $6.50 for this pair of shorts, and again, through offers to watchers, sold them for $32, and that took eight days to sell. Most people are probably familiar with the Eileen Fisher brand, but there is the tag. And this, I believe, is actually an older item based on the tag, but still new with tags. And Eileen Fisher pieces are pretty classic, so unlikely to start to look really out of style or anything as they age. Next up is a pair of J. Jill shorts. These were the Love Linen collection, and as far as J. Jill goes, I usually pick up Love Linen, Love Denim, and the Chenille collection, and most of the pieces that are just tagged J. Jill I don't pick up unless there's something that I think is really, really special about the item. So this pair of pants, I'm not sure why I paid up for. I think I must not have realized that I was paying up and just thrown them in my cart because I, I wouldn't recommend paying what I paid, but I did pay $6.40 for these. I sold them through offers to watchers for $18 and that took three days. This Love Linen collection tends to sell quickly for me and dependably, but I usually don't get any more than between $18 and $22 for it, so that is something to keep in mind. Oh, here is the tag for that. It says Love Linen on the side and J. Jill. So even though you might find pieces of J. Jill that are linen that aren't marked Love Linen, I really just kind of hold out for this particular collection. Now here's another brand that I hadn't heard of called Amor Vert. And I did look this brand up and it seems that sometimes it's sold at Anthropology. However, just based on the tag inside there with the RN number on the bottom of it. I could tell that this was not a piece that was made at anth or made for anthropology. It did still look like it had a good sell through rate. It seems that they just make these sort of basic tees. So I went ahead and picked it up. Here is the tag that was on the inside for you. I paid 215. This was a half price item at my thrift store. 
and I sold it again through Offers to Watchers for $18, and that took just three days to sell, so I was really happy with that. Again, a brand that I wasn't familiar with. I picked up these, I'm not sure if you pronounce this brand, Veya, and these were called the V10 sneaker. And these were in really good condition. They had some super minor dirt just on the front of them, but otherwise they looked really great, like they had only been worn a couple of times. So I paid $7.75 for this pair of shoes. I took a best offer of $60, and that took 29 days to sell. And I think that I got a couple best offers on these for around $60, and I was originally countering at a little bit higher and then decided to go ahead and take $60, which I'm super pleased with, and it's a great profit margin for me. And I'm always glad to learn a new brand. This, by the way, is another brand that could be sent into the real reel if you use that service. I always like to mention that. Um, they probably would not list it for very much more than you can get for it on eBay, but it is an option. Oh, here we go with the brand name on the back there. Duluth Trading Company is one of my staple brands. I never get a whole lot of money for it. I usually sell pieces between $20 and $30, but I tend to sell them fairly quickly and dependably, so I do like to pick this brand up. I have no idea if it's popular outside of the Midwest as far as whether or not you find it very often, but I find it pretty often in my area. This pair of pants I paid $6.50 for and sold them on a best offer of $22. That took 18 days, and as you can see, they're just like a men's hiking pant, and they were a 34 inseam, and that is my favorite inseam for men's clothing. 32 and 34 are both pretty good. When you get up to 36 or down to 30, even 29, 28, those tend to take a little longer to sell. So that's something to keep in mind if you're not super familiar with selling men's clothing. But if you come across this brand for a good price, I would definitely try picking it up. Um, like I said, for me, it's been a very dependable seller. Again, I wasn't familiar with this brand, Aussie Chiller. I picked up this hat because it was super clean, in really good condition, didn't really look like it had ever been worn. And... This hat, I looked on the website, it is made for golfing or fishing, and the idea is that you can soak it, and as you can see on the tag there, it says soak me, and then you wear it, and it helps keep you cool while you're outside. So I picked this hat up for $4.25. I got my full asking price of $32 for it, and that took five days to sell. Here's an item that I was really excited to find. This is a J. Crew suit, but the thing that made it really special is that the wool was made by Loro Piana. So if you're not familiar with that, Loro Piana is an extremely expensive brand. If you found, for example, a suit that was actually branded Loro Piana, that would be an incredibly valuable suit. Um, but they also make fabric used in other suits. So this J. Crew suit was tagged there on one side of the jacket, Italian wool, and this was called the Ludlow. And then on the other side of the jacket, you can see there that it was tagged with the Loro Piana brand. So I paid $14.75 for this suit. I sold it again through offers to watchers for $95, which I was really happy with, and that took 10 days to sell. Um, the size on this is not totally ideal. 40 is a little bit on the smaller side, but the R means regular, so regular height. So that was a good thing that it had going for it, and it's always great when you can find the pants. So this came out. It was actually just coming out when I was at the thrift store, so it was still on the rack of clothes they were putting out, and I was absolutely thrilled to grab that. Here's a brand that I've sold a few times, and I think that it's a little bit lesser known. I don't find this brand very often, 
but I do pick it up when I see it. So it's called the Pyramid Collection, and this is either a catalog or maybe you can just order from their website, but like I said, it's not that common, but it seems to have a following. So there is the tag there. And this was just a stretchy tunic top in a size extra large. I paid $5.39 for this, and I did get my full asking price of $28, and that took 22 days to sell. And my random hard good in this video is this knife set. I picked it up just because it was still in the box. The box looked nice. The knives looked like they were in great condition. And I ran comps in the store quickly, and it seemed like it would be a good buy. So I paid $4.50 for this set of Gerber knives. And I took a best offer of $24, and that took 11 days to sell. So I do have three bonus items. I always like to include a little bit of extra. So the first one that I want to show you is this Ralph Lauren Black Label. I think that most people are probably familiar with the fact that Black Label is out there. I don't know how many people find it very often. This is only this, uh, the third piece I've ever seen, but the first two pieces were not in good enough condition to buy, so I was really happy to find this linen sweater in great condition. It was like an open knit, as you can see there, but actually very, very heavy, even though the knit was open. So if you don't know, Ralph Lauren has a lot of levels. So the things that you're going to find all the time are like Lauren Ralph Lauren and Polo Ralph Lauren, and those are not expensive. And there's really only certain pieces of those two brands that I would ever pick up. However, Ralph Lauren Black Label and Purple Label are the high-end brands. So... This is the label to be looking out for there if you haven't seen it. And this sweater I didn't include in the beginning of my video because it did take six weeks to sell. And I took a best offer on it of 40 So I could have sold it a little quicker because I got several best offers around 40 and I was trying to hold out for a little more and sometimes when I get three or four offers that are all around the same amount, I decide that the market has spoken and that that must be the value of this sweater. If you found a nice piece of outerwear or a nice dress, something a little bit more uh, intricate than just a plain sweater. You could be talking about pieces well over a hundred into the hundreds of dollars in value. So it's definitely good to know this label. And I got lucky on this and paid $4.26, which is um, ironically even lower than what my thrift store normally sells, like Polo Ralph Lauren or Lauren Ralph Lauren. Usually those pieces all start at $7.99 plus tax at my thrift store. So they must have just missed this. I wouldn't expect them to know that the black label was worth more, but I would expect them to price it at least where they're pricing polo. So that was a great score for me. Next up is a pair of earrings. I don't sell a ton of jewelry, but I thought these were really pretty. I picked these up in a bag of jewelry that I got at a garage sale for two bucks. And the reason I picked up the bag was because I could see a really pretty pair of earrings that were marked 925. So I knew that I wanted to grab those, but I decided to look through the rest of the bag, and these are the ones that stood out to me. They did have a marking on the back, EXT, in kind of Greek style lettering, I guess, if you can see that there. So I looked up the brand, it's called Ecstasia. It has a great following. And so I listed these at 42 I took a best offer of $35, and these took 33 days, so it was just over that limit for getting into the what sold quick, but I wanted to show them to you because they do have such a good sell-through rate, and I just, I thought that they were really pretty, and I got a lot of watchers on them, so it's, it's good to see that this is a brand that has such a following. And the last thing that I wanted to include is this pair of chocolaticas, and these were a women's size 38 Mary Jane shoe. Obviously stuck out to me just for being so unusual. As you can see, the details are just printed on there, and I thought they would make good like costume or cosplay shoes, so I did put cosplay in the title. 
I actually got two pairs of this brand and maybe I'll include the other pair as a bonus in another video because the other pair actually got pulled for a Vero and that pair had smiley faces on it and I did not know that smiley face is a trademarked word so the smiley face company flagged those shoes and they got pulled down and I haven't gone back and relisted. So these are a shoe that a thrift store is not likely to think have any value and mark up so I was able to pick these up for $4.25. I did get my full asking price of $36. They took about six weeks to sell so not a super quick sale. They did get some interest in watchers though and I do think it's a brand that's worth looking out for and a brand that people may not really be aware of. It's a little bit hard. It was kind of hard to capture that tag but you can see in there that they say chocolaticas and I think they said like hot chocolate. Yeah hot chocolate designs on the bottom there. So that's what I have to show you today. I do really appreciate you watching. I welcome feedback. If you want to comment, if you want to hit the like or the dislike or the subscribe button, that is up to you. And thanks again.